do you have advice for young people today in high school, in college, that are thinking about what to do uh, with their career, with their life, so that uh, at the end of the whole thing, they can be proud of what they did? Uh, don't cheat. <laughs> have integrity. Aim for integrity. Integrity. So what does integrity look like when you're the river or the leaf or the fat frog in a lake? It basically means that you try to figure out what the thing is that is the most right. And this doesn't mean that you don't uh, that you have to look for what other people tell you what's right, but uh, you have to aim for moral autonomy. So things need to be right independently of what other people say. Yeah. I always felt that um, when people told me to um, uh, listen to what others say, like um, read the room, build your uh, ideas of what's true based on the high status people of your in-group. That does not protect me from fascism. The only way to protect yourself from fascism is to decide, is the world that is being built here, the world that I want to be in. Yeah. And so uh, in some sense, uh, try to make your behavior sustainable. Act in such a way that you would feel comfortable on all sides of the transaction. Realize that everybody is you in a different timeline, but uh, is seeing things differently and has reasons to do so. Not There's also like. sometimes this expectation that others are like us. So imagine the possibility that some of the people around you are space aliens that only look human, mm -hmm. right? So they don't have the same priors as you do. They, they don't, have, don't have the same impulses that's what's right and wrong. There's a large pr diversity in these basic impulses that people can have in a given situation. And now realize that you are a space alien, right? You are not actually human. You, you think that you're human, but you don't know what it means like what it's like to be human. You just make it up as you go along like everybody else. Mm -hmm. And you have to figure that out, what it means that you are a full human being, what it means to be human in the world and how to connect with others on that. And there is also something, don't be afraid in, in the sense that you, uh, if you do this, you're not good enough. Because if you are acting on these incentives of integrity, you become trustworthy. That's the way in which you can recognize each other. There is a particular place where you can meet and you can figure out what that place is, where you will give support to people because you realize that they act with integrity and they will also do that. So in some sense, you are safe if you do that. You're not always protected. There are people which will abuse you and that might, uh, that are bad actors in a way that it's hard to imagine before you meet them. But um, there is also people which uh, will try to protect you. Thank you for saying that. That's such a hopeful message that no matter what happens to you, there'll be a place, there's people you'll meet that also have what you have and you will find happiness there and safety there. Yeah, but it doesn't need to end well. It can also uh, all go wrong. So it's, there's no guarantees in, in this life. So you can do everything right and you still can fail and uh, you can still horrible things happen to you that traumatize you and mutilate you. And uh, you have to be grateful if it doesn't happen. And ultimately be grateful no matter what happens, because even just being alive is pretty damn nice. Yeah, even that, you know, um, the gratefulness in some sense is also just generated by your brain uh, to keep you going. It's all the trick. <laughs> <laughs>